hey, teachers, how would you like to use Google Sheets to highlight any failing grades in your gradebook? Now, whether you're using this for your gradebook or something else, conditional formatting is super powerful. Let me show you how this works. Hey all, this week's quick tip is about conditional formatting in Google Sheets. And this tip is for teachers, but anyone watching can learn very quickly how easy it is to change the color of text or a cell based on information that is in that cell. So for teachers, it makes sense just as a baby step to learning conditional formatting. This is what I start with is I want you to see how easy it is to take a list of grades and have it change the cell of all the grades below 70 to red. And we can do that very quickly. So this is super easy, I promise. All you have to do is highlight all the cells. So even though I don't have grades in here yet, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight all of these so that it works as I continue to add more grades. The next thing I wanna do is come up to Format and choose Conditional Formatting. And it's gonna open a sidebar. By default, now that I have selected my range already before opening this, it's already set, but you can change this if you need to. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the format rules. By default, it starts off, if it's not empty, it's gonna turn the cell green. Well, that's not what we wanna do, but we can change this very quickly. Click the drop down, and you'll see all of the options here. So this should really open up the possibilities for you of what conditional formatting can do. So I want if the number inside that cell is less than 70, we're just going to go with 70 for a passing grade. I want it to change that cell to this pink, say light red color. I, I like to do this is a little bit easier on the eyes than choosing the bright, bright red. And then I click done. And so now these formatting rules will highlight exactly who failed this assignment. So that at a glance, this is so much easier to see what's going on. Now, as I continue to add more grades, you'll see it will continue to add that if it is below 70. Now, what's great about this is I know many teachers don't actually use Google Sheets to track their grades. But I wanted to share this just as an example because I feel like Google Sheets is just one of those tools a lot of teachers don't use and don't know the possibilities. So there are so many things that we can do with the data that we have in Sheets and use conditional formatting to do different things. So just remember, all you have to do is go to Format, Conditional Formatting, and you can even add additional rules. So these are called rules. And this is what your options are. So you can base it on text, you can base it on a date, you can base it on um, the actual value that is in there like we did with the grade, and you can even create custom formulas. So there's so, so much you can do with conditional formatting. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up and ring the bell and subscribe. I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, hop on over to shakeuplearning.com and check out all the free resources we have there. Bye, y'all.